Just a few days ago, we were privileged to begin the third chapter in Erevin, in Dafyomi. And the Mishnah begins to discuss the various food items which can be used to create an Erev. Without getting into all the technicalities, an Erev means a combination or a mixture. When you have multiple people living and have a shared area like a courtyard, they all need to join together as one unit in order to go ahead and carry from their homes into the joint courtyard. Similarly, a person has a certain distance they're permitted to travel on Shabbos, 2,000 Amos. If you want to extend that distance, you could simply create a new domicile by placing food in a new location. Home is where your food is. So the Mishnah discusses which types of foods can be used for an Eruv. So the Mishnah pretty much says you could use anything you want for Eruv food with, with two exceptions, water and salt. Water and salt, okay. So the Gemara discusses, because they're, they're just not considered to be really important food items, therefore cannot be used for Eruv. Yet the Gemara says something amazing. You can't use water, you can't use salt, but you can use salt water. So if you take your water and your salt and you mix it into a combination, right? salt water, that's chashiv, that's important, and therefore that could be used for Erev. And I thought that there's an incredible message in that. You know, a lot of times in life we do things, and we do things day in and day out, and we think that they're just insignificant. And we think they don't really matter. Right? Whether it's, whether it's mitzvot that I perform, or small acts of chesed that I do, my davening, okay, I'm discharging an obligation, I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing, but at the end of the day, does it really matter? And I think a lot of us feel that the small things we do, they in and day out don't matter. It's only the stuff that grabs headlines. It's Gidole Hadur, the great leaders generation, they matter. Me? Me, what am I? For me, my spiritual service, it's like water, it's like salt. Meaning, they don't do anything. I do it because I'm commanded to do it. I do it because I'm obligated to do it. But if you ask me, do I move the universal needle at all? I would have to give a resounding no to that. But yet the Gemara teaches us, while it may be true that water by itself may not be so significant, salt by itself may not be so significant, when you mix water and salt, they become a chashiva item. They become something of significance. And it's true in our personal lives as well. We are not defined by any one thing, but rather the totality of our personality is defined by the totality of our actions. And when you're the kind of person, when I'm the kind of person who tries to do good things day in and day out, little things, although each of those little things maybe doesn't move the needle, but when you combine them all together, I have made a dramatic difference in this world. When you combine them all together, I've made a dramatic difference in my personality. Don't look at your actions as salt and water, but look at them as salt water. Look at what you've accomplished as a composite. Understand that what you do throughout your entire life matters and measures up to so much. We give up so often because we just think, ah, what does this matter? What does that matter? And again, maybe on a one-off level, something's not all that significant. Although I happen to think in the eyes of the Ribbon Shalom, everything we do is significant. But even if you're right, and even if something little is not so significant, one small thing, another small thing, another small thing, a little bit of salt over here, a little bit of water over here, a little bit more salt, a little bit more water, a little bit more salt, by themselves may not be so significant. When you bring them together, you have salt water. When you have salt water, you have an Erev. When you have an Erev, you have a domicile. When you have a domicile, you create new realities. Our little actions bond together as well, creating a beautiful tapestry of spiritual accomplishment and all together changing ourselves and changing our world. Wishing everyone a wonderful day.